Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this stress structure. So we have to find out the support reactions at point A and at point B. So here are the two supports provided. One is A and one is B, and we have to find out these support reaction. The only pointed or concentrated load acting here is two kilonewton, and here is four kilonewton. And both are acting are acting directly on the uh, top of the supports. So here, at the length or the dimension for the truss structure is given to us two meter here and four meter is the distance between the supports. Now to find out the support reactions, so we can write here that it will be R A is the vertical support reaction, and here it will be R B. Hinge support. So hinge support can also take the horizontal load R B X. But in this case, it will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this structure. We can see here there is only vertical load acting on this uh, truss structure. So here is A and here is B. So I can write it here that R A and R B are unknown to us. And let's suppose we use the equilibrium equation in order to find out the support reactions. And for this, we use the moment equation. The summation of moment at uh, let's suppose at point B equal to zero. So we will take the moment summation of moment at this point equal to zero. And the first step would be taking the sign assumption that let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So now we have to find all the moments created by different forces. We have different forces here that creates a moment about point B. And for this case, we know that the moment is equal to the how to find out the moment. It is equal to the force into moment arm. This formula should be kept in mind to find out the uh, moment at any point. So we have to find out the moment at point B. Now, how to do it? Let's start with this A with this R A. So this load is acting in upward direction, reaction, and this will create the moment and the and this will create the moment in the clockwise direction about point B. So the clockwise is taken as positive, so it will be R A is the force multiplying it with the moment arm. So the moment arm is the perpendicular distance from the load from the support reaction R A till to the point B, which is four meter. So this is the one load that creates a moment about point B. Now the other load that creates a moment about point D B is two kilonewton, so it is acting in downward direction. So it will create here the moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point B. Now for anti-clockwise, it will be taken as negative. So two kilonewton is the load, is the force. So minus two. Moment arm is again the distance from this point up to the B point here. So this perpendicular distance is again four meter. So now the other load that creates a moment about point B is this one. But here, this load is acting directly on the top of the B here, directly acting on the top of the B. So there is no perpendicular distance for the uh, for the load to from this load up to the point B. There is no perpendicular distance, but this distance, this vertical distance, for example, if it is five meter, so it is only the parallel distance. There is no perpendicular distance for moment. For moment, we always need the force. Force is here, four kilonewton. But what is the moment arm? The moment arm is the perpendicular distance from the point till to the point where you want to find out the moment. But in this case, this load is acting in the parallel direction, so that's why it is zero in this case. So now the summation of moment at point B equal to zero. So now we shift. This comes out to be zero because four into zero is zero. So we will shift this value to the right side. So we will get here. R A four R A is equal to the plus eight because it will be shifted into the right side. It will become positive, and R A will come out to be eight divided by four equal to two kilonewton. So R A here is support reaction is two kilonewton. Now to find out the support reaction at point B R B, so we can use either the summation of moment at point A equal to zero, or we can use the vertical. Uh, force is equilibrium equation. The summation of vertical force is equal to zero. So we will use both equation to find out the support reaction at point B. So starting with this one, 
let's suppose the clockwise moment is the, sorry in case of the vertical forces let's suppose the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative now the upward forces are are a and are b these are upward forces so it is taken as positive and the downward forces are 2 kN and 4 kN they are acting in the downward direction so they are taken as negative and summation of all the vertical forces is equal to 0. Now we know that Ra is 2 kN it is known to us so we will put this value and shift this value and to the right side so we will get our Rb equal to the it will become 2 plus 4 minus Ra. So if we shift if we put the value of 2 plus 4 Ra is also 2 kN so minus 2 so Rb comes out to be 4 kN. So Rb is here is 4 kN. So this is the one way to find out the support reaction at point B. Now if we use this method to find out the support reaction at point A, to, to find out the uh, support reaction B, so we can also use this method, how to use it. In the similar way, let's take the moment summation of moment at point A equal to 0. At this point equal to 0. So this Ra was known to us which is 2 kN but Rb is unknown to us here in this case. So now how to find out this taking this uh, clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is negative. So here this load will create the moment about point A in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be minus Rb multiplying with the moment arm which is 4 meter here from this distance up to this point is 4 meter the other load that creates a moment about point A is this 4 kN which is acting in the downward direction and acting in the pass in the clockwise direction so it will be positive plus 4 is the load and the moment arm is the distance from point this point up to this point which is again 4 meter and again here if you look to this if you look to this 2 kN which is acting directly on the top of the support and there is no moment arm there is no perpendicular distance this distance this is directly passing through the uh, point of the load point of the support that's why there is no perpendicular distance so the plus 2 kN multiplying with the 0 there is no perpendicular distance that's why it's 0 so the total load that creates a moment at point A is equal to 0 now this becomes 0 again and if you shift this value to the right side so it will be 4RB equal to 16 and RB comes out to be 16 divided by 4 and RB comes out to be 4 kN so it is 4 kN which we find out before 4 kN so hope you guys understand how to find out the support reaction for any kind of structure by using these two simple equations summation of what summation of moment at any point equal to zero or summation of vertical forces at any point equal to zero and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video